Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Abdul Nasser Jangda. I'm coming to you from the Qalam campus. You've heard me talk about this many times that Qalam has had the blessing and the opportunity to be able to serve the community for over a decade. I wanted to reminisce about that, kind of talk a little bit about why we started doing what we, what we do. Well, we started out for the sim very simple and straightforward reason of why we still do what we do. And that is we believed that the world can be a better place. And we believe that the secret to making the world a better place is for everyone to know the Quran and the life of the Prophet ﷺ. That the more people understood this beautiful religion and the more they believed in it and the more they practiced it and the more they exemplified it, the better they would become. And the more good people we got out there, the better of a world that we have. And that was the hope that we had. And that is what we see from the life of the Prophet ﷺ. And that is what inspired and motivated us. And we wanted to help people be the best versions of themselves and be able to create a life of dignity, peace and tranquility, of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of devotion to their deen and their family and their community. And in doing so, really genuinely help people. My sheikh, he said a beautiful thing. And he said that, you know, we are striving to collect the du'as of people. So try to, trying to do as much good as we can, to have as great of an impact as possible and help as many people along the way. Whether that be through the podcast, providing the discussions and knowledge on the Quran and the life of the Prophet ﷺ to millions of people all across the world, or providing classes, seminars, intensives, workshops to tens of thousands of people all across the country and even all across the world, to the seminary where we produce imams, scholars, students of knowledge, teachers of this religion that can go out and enlighten and brighten communities all across this country and eventually all across this world. That while you and I are having this discussion and conversation here, there are simultaneously 30 communities all across this country that are active and vibrant and being changed and transformed and people's lives being improved there while I'm standing right here because those were graduates that studied at the seminary and went out and are now bringing so much benefit to their communities. That was the vision that we had. That was the dream that we saw. That's what inspired us. And Alhamdulillah, thumma Alhamdulillah, what we initially dreamed and what we saw, we're living it today. And this is what many of you have contributed to. And now what I want, I want to ask all of you to contribute to is the vision that we have for the future. The impact and the effect that will not just see 30 communities change and transformed and improved, but over a hundred communities changed across this nation. That when the benefit and the work going on in these different communities will start to touch one another and overlap with one another we will see a national change and transformation. That is the vision that we have. Then now we have our graduates going into postgraduate studies, specialized studies in tafsir, hadith, and fiqh, becoming researchers and scholars, writing, authoring, doing deep research to solve the big issues of our community. That's the future. That this place will become a place from where the nation's problems will be solved. That's the next vision. That's the next dream. And I can already feel that it's within reach and grasp. And that's what we're striving for. That's what we're working for today. And that's what I'm asking you to be a part of. So please go to supportcolumn.com. Join us on this journey. Become a part of this mission. And let's make the world a better place. Jazakumullahu khairan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept 
all of our efforts. May Allah accept all of our worship in Ramadan. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.